As we contemplate the sun, we are reminded of its colossal power, its endless streams of energy that shape everything within our solar system. It burns with such force that even from 150 million kilometers away, it sustains all life on Earth. But what if I told you there are stars so immense, so incomprehensibly powerful, that they make our sun seem like a flickering candle in the dark? Far beyond our small neighborhood in space lies one of these cosmic giants, Betelgeuse, the red supergiant star that continues to defy everything astronomers thought they knew about stellar life and death. Betelgeuse, sometimes called the dying heart of Orion, is a star of extremes, enormous, unstable, and mysterious. Its vast surface is unpredictable, pulsing and dimming as if it breathes in slow, violent rhythms. The James Webb Space Telescope and other observatories have been watching closely, and what they've uncovered about this titanic star is both astonishing and terrifying. Join us as we travel deep into the constellation Orion, and explore how Betelgeuse might soon rewrite our understanding of the cosmos itself. If you're passionate about staying updated on mysteries of the universe, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and turn on the notification bell, because what you're about to hear might change how you see the night sky forever. During the cold nights of winter in the northern hemisphere, you can look up and see it, glowing faintly red-orange, a celestial ember marking Orion's left shoulder. Betelgeuse shines brighter than almost any other star a cosmic furnace 640 light years away. At first glance, that may not sound like much. But imagine this. Even if we could travel at the speed of light, it would still take us over six centuries to reach it. And with our most advanced spacecraft, that journey would last over 12 million years. Betelgeuse is no ordinary star. It is a pulsating red supergiant, a dying star nearing the end of its life. Every few hundred days, its surface expands and contracts in massive waves, each pulse altering its brightness. To the naked eye, these fluctuations are visible. One season it burns fiercely bright, the next it fades mysteriously dim. In 2019, something extraordinary happened. Betelgeuse dimmed more than ever before in recorded history. The world watched in awe as the star's brightness dropped to nearly one-third of its usual glow. Many believed we were witnessing the beginning of its supernova, the moment when Betelgeuse would explode with the energy of a hundred million suns, lighting up our skies for weeks. But the explosion never came. Instead, when NASA's telescopes turned toward it, they found something unexpected, an immense cloud of dust, ejected from the star itself, partially blocking its light. It was as though Betelgeuse had coughed up part of its surface into space. Yet, the mystery deepened. Astronomers noticed that the star's pulsations, normally stable, had changed rhythm. It wasn't just dimming anymore, it was behaving differently, breaking patterns that had held for centuries. The James Webb Space Telescope later captured infrared images revealing intricate streams of gas and massive bubbles swirling around Betelgeuse, suggesting a violent instability deep within. It was as if the star's core was preparing for something colossal. Betelgeuse's size is almost beyond comprehension. If placed at the center of our solar system, its surface would extend beyond Jupiter's orbit. That means it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and the asteroid belt whole. Even with such an enormous size, its surface is surprisingly cool, around 3,500 Kelvin, much cooler than the Sun's 5,500 Kelvin. This is why it glows that deep, haunting red, the color of dying fire. Despite its lower temperature, Betelgeuse's radius makes it hundreds of thousands of times more luminous than the sun. However, this brilliance comes at a price. Betelgeuse is unstable, losing mass at a tremendous rate, roughly one Earth's worth of material every year, cast into space as clouds of burning plasma. These ejections form strange shapes around the star, some extending billions of kilometers outward. When observed through powerful telescopes like ALMA, 
the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile, scientists discovered an enormous plume of gas escaping from its surface, evidence of immense internal turmoil. These waves are caused by convection currents, hot gas rising, cool gas sinking, generating tremendous pressure and magnetic fields that ripple across the star. Those magnetic fields, thousands of times stronger than the sun's, create star spots, vast dark regions on Betelgeuse's surface where gas cools and dims. Some of these star spots are larger than Earth itself and cover up to 20% of the star's visible face. As these spots rotate in and out of view, Betelgeuse's brightness flickers and shifts, making it appear alive, breathing, restless. Yet, scientists believe these fluctuations are signs of decay, the last throes of a dying titan. Betelgeuse has likely entered its final evolutionary stage, burning its remaining elements rapidly before collapsing under its own gravity. When that happens, the core will implode, and the outer layers will erupt outward in a supernova explosion. For a brief moment, Betelgeuse will outshine the entire Milky Way, visible even in daylight. Astronomers can't say exactly when this will happen, it could be tomorrow, or 100,000 years from now. But one thing is certain, when it does, it will be the most spectacular event the human eye has ever seen. The last time a nearby supernova was visible to Earth was in 1604, over 400 years ago. If Betelgeuse goes supernova in our lifetime, it will become a glowing beacon brighter than the full moon, dominating our night skies for months. But there's a darker side. When such a massive star explodes, it releases a shockwave of high-energy radiation, though scientists assure us that Betelgeuse is far enough away to pose no direct threat to Earth. Still, the event would shower our solar system with exotic particles and cosmic rays, providing a rare glimpse into the cycle of stellar rebirth, where the death of one star seeds the birth of countless new worlds. Betelgeuse is not alone in its kind. Another of its cosmic cousins is Antares, a red supergiant in the constellation Scorpius, slightly smaller but equally powerful. Together, they remind us that the universe is a living, evolving entity, one that creates and destroys, breathes and collapses, endlessly. And so, when you look up on a winter night, and you see that faint reddish glow in Orion's shoulder, remember, you're not just looking at a star. You're looking at the future of everything we know. A reminder that even giants fall, and from their ashes, the universe begins again. Now the question remains, has Betelgeuse already exploded, and we're simply waiting for the light to reach us? Or is it still trembling in its final breaths, holding on just a little longer before the inevitable? Whatever the answer, one day the sky will light up with a brilliance humanity has never seen before, and when it does, it will be Betelgeuse's final message across the endless dark. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.